All right, guys, we are officially ready to rip. We're gonna be going through this booster box of Brilliant Stars today. This is the first Bri uh, Brilliant Stars booster box I've opened up, so I'm pretty excited. I've opened up a lot of packs, but I know the hit rates for booster boxes are just supposed to be a little better. So yeah, let's get into this. All right, 36 packs ready to rip. Let me put that up there. Uh -oh. Here we go. I opened up an RCSV box for the first time. That was pretty awesome. Pretty stoked. And then I also opened up some Astral Radiance today. That finally came out. And these were my two hits from what I opened up today. Nothing crazy, but still pretty cool. Anyways, what we're here for. Brilliant stars. Let's get right into it. We'll go with the first pack. All right. Let's get some first pack magic, guys. I'm super stoked for this. I've been wanting to open up these ones. Uh, I got like three booster boxes, and I just kind of want to, they've just been sitting there because I've been waiting to make a video, and I'm super stoked. Okay, let's get into this first pack, first pack magic. Here we go, Pipla, Turtwig, two starters, we got Roseanne's backup, and a non-hollow Dredagon. There's your code card. Take those. Yeah, like I said, Astro Radiance came out today. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I got some, luckily my area had some, uh, we had some Astro Radiance packs near us. So that was pretty cool. I was kind of worried that we wouldn't have anything. We get a Clink, we get a Boss of Borders, and a non hollow Brelu. One thing I have been noticing is that Brilliant Stars, the left half of the booster, typically from what I've seen, tends to have the better card, so I figured we'd start with the right, maybe finish strong. I guess we'll see. But as far as chase cards go, guys, we're definitely obviously going for any alt art. Alt arts are the big ones. But uh, also any secret rares. I'm totally down. I'm still missing a lot from Brilliant Stars. So, uh, and then quite a few. Oh, there we go. There is a hit right there, and you guys actually, this is my first V-Star pull. And it's so fitting that it would be RCS. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, we'll get this sleeve up. There we go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we want right there. RCS V-Star. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll put that right there. That guy right here. Yeah, um, I got my setup a little better. It's looking a little bit more clean than last time. I, like I said, guys, my videos are gonna get better each time. So thank you guys for all your support. And thanks for watching. We got Electabuzz, Chimeco. Ooh, I don't think that I have this trainer. I think I actually do, but a trainer gallery hit is a good hit in my in my book. So get that, and then the non-hollow Electivire. All right, so we got our first trainer gallery hit. I think I already have that one, but either way, nothing wrong with that. Let's get that out of the way. All right, we got a Sneasel, Clink, Spiritomb, Axew, Impidimp, we got a Staryu, and ooh, a Hollow Rare Empoleon. Ooh, like to see that, okay. Guys, I've been growing so much appreciation for hollow rares like I used to think like if it wasn't an ultra rare it's garbage but I don't know man I think my opinion's kind of changing like they're super pretty they're super cool so I think I'm gonna stop being so stingy and just start to appreciate the hollow rares that I'm getting uh -oh. obviously let me get this pack there we go obviously we want ultra rares more than anything but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy each hit that I get. We got Duskull, Farfetch'd, Execute, Wormadam, and a non-hollow Mothin, because anything is better than the non-hollow players. Okay, next pack. So, 
by this time, Brilliant Stars has been out for a couple months. We got Astral Radiance coming in. The Pokemon Go set has been announced. Uh, I'm not super stoked for the Pokemon Go set. I think I'm just gonna buy the Radiant Big Three, her original three starters, and then probably ditch the rest of the set, man. Like, I don't know. I'm just not super into Pokemon Go. It doesn't excite me a lot. I saw that Ditto thing where like, there's Dittos hidden behind some uh, some of the cards, which I mean, that's pretty cool, but I don't know. We got a Drampa V, Drampa the Grandpa here, code card. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think a gimmick is gonna get me to honestly uh, care about it all too much. I'll probably, honestly, I mean, let's be honest, I'm probably still gonna buy some because I need everything. I was going through all of my sealed products today. I like had no idea, honestly, how much I would actually spent in the last couple of months in sealed product. It is pretty ridiculous, honestly. I probably need to chill out, but definitely not, especially with everybody at my work kind of like always flexing our stuff that we have. Um, I just feel the need to buy more because I just, you know, I have to have the best stuff, obviously. But uh, I'm also like kind of impressed though. I feel like my, my taste since I first started collecting has definitely changed. I used to be only like into the vintage Wizard of the Coast stuff. And I've started to like get more of an appeal. Ooh, King Levy there. Get more of an appeal for the stuff. Uh, Diamond and Pearl era. Uh, definitely Platinum era. I like that. I don't like Heart Gold, Soul Silver era as, as much, which is funny because I love those games. But I'm not super into the Prime cards. <clears throat> I will say though, my favorite eras are probably the E-Reader. Those sets are so cool. I love, I love the artwork for those sets, and that's something I've definitely seen myself start to start to appreciate more. Ooh, I don't have that trainer gallery yet. The Dedene, that's awesome. That is super cool. I like the, uh, I like the artwork. Speaking of which, it's very like funky. A little close up. That's a, that's a nice hit right there. I don't have that one yet, so that's, that's pretty cool. No alt art yet. No secret rare. Nothing like that. Um, definitely want to get one of those. I don't, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be, you should be guaranteed at least a full art in each. I don't, I don't think secret rares are guaranteed. So hopefully we can get hooked up with an alt art as well. Obviously the Charizard is what we want. I do have some other boxes laying around. So if this one doesn't work out, we do have some some alternative boxes that we can go for. Um, I do think that the next thing I'm gonna open though is probably some sort of older, maybe like Sun and Moon packs. Uh, I wanna deviate from Sword and Shield every once in a while. It's really expensive, but it's a lot more fun too. Chaneko, Gibble, oh, skip Turtwig there. I like that Turtwig art, very cute. Uh, Luxio, ooh, I really like that Luxio. Ooh, and a Torterra Hollow. Look at that artwork. See, uh, see, man, you can't you can't pass on these Hollow rares. They're they're so cool looking. I like them a lot. I think they look amazing, especially Brilliant Stars. Sleep that guy up and throw him up. There. I will say, I have. Decided I like Brilliant Stars more than Astral Radiance. I think Astral Radiance might have the better trainer gallery, but I think as far as chase cards go, Brilliant Stars is definitely where you want to go. Uh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Purloin and a Cliff Fable on Hollow. Even if you're if you're trying to get complete sets too, even those non-hollows are important to not sleep on. We're about halfway through this first box. Or, yeah, the first half of this box. Oh my gosh, that was hard to get into. There's gotta be something good in this pack. How hard that was to get into. Anyways, yeah, we're about halfway through this first box. We'll see what we get. Oh, I love Trafinch. 
I wish they had given a fly gun an altar in this. Ooh, speaking of which, we got a Shaman V. A lot of V cards in this box. Like I said, I'm hoping the uh, the second half of this box holds all of our, our goodies. But uh, I don't have this card yet, so we'll take it. I am trying to complete this set, so. Any ultra rares or hollow rares, or preferably anything above that is very good. Okay. There we go. We got a Trappage. We got a Piplug. We got a Shroomish, Purloin, Sneasel, a Reverse Hollow Morgrim, and a Non Hollow Alcrini. I, dude, I like Alcrini. I've gotten grown so much of appreciation for so many Sword and Shield Pokemon. I think Sword and Shield, the game itself, I think the, uh, the design of the game is pretty trash, but I think some of the Pokemon designs and uh, definitely some of the characters are super slept on, so that's okay though. We got a Bidoof, we got Electabuzz, a Reverse Hollow to Tor Torterra, Reverse Hollow -Holo Rare, and a Non Hollow Monk. <clears throat> okay, and this is our last pack for this half of the booster box. Let's see what we got here. I think next opening, I'm probably gonna do some premium collection boxes or something like that. Maybe do like some kind of uh, some kind of challenge or something. I don't know, we'll see. I, I got ideas, but we'll see what ends up happening. Ooh, we got ourselves a Mimikyu VMAX. That's a nice one as well. I don't have that one, so that's a nice pull right there. All right, guys, we're about halfway through this box. Let's review some of our hits. We got a Mimikyu VMAX, a Shaman V. We got a Torterra Hollow Rare. Ooh, this nice Dedenne Trainer Gallery. We got a Kingler V, a Drompa V, a nice Empoleon Hollow Rare, this Vaporeon from the Trainer Gallery, and our best pull from that side of the box is this Arceus V Star. Super nice. All right, guys, let's get into this next half of the box. Okay, first pack. Can we get some magic out of the first pack? I think so. Oh, I am super stoked for the next English mainline set to get announced. I feel like it's gonna be uh, some kind of Gengar alt art, Gengar V alt art. Uh, to, ooh, we got a rare Infernape and that same Torterra. Uh, some kind of Gengar oriented to go along with the Japanese set Dark Phantasma. Hanging out. So that'd be super exciting. I think any Gengar set is always a, a great pickup. Or any set geared towards Gengar is a great pickup. Let's see what we got here Electabuzz, Chemiko, Gibble, the Reverse Gibite and a Manaphy. Oh my gosh, all I was pulling when I first opened this set was that Manaphy. That was super frustrating when I first started opening Brilliant Stars. I, I don't know. I think Brilliant Stars might pass up Evolving Skies for me. I really enjoy this set a lot. I think it's very generous with the hits, which is something I really enjoy. I like pulling stuff, man. I don't like sitting there and pulling my thumbs, you know what I mean? And especially with the single packs. Ooh, a very nice reverse hollow Garchomp. And oh my gosh, look at that Lapras. That is beautiful. That is so nice. And that is it for that pack. You guys, we've got to be getting up close. We've got to be getting close to something here. I really feel like this side of the box is going to have something for us. Trap Inch on the front there. All right, we got Cast Form, Throw, Shroomish, Piplup, Acerola's Premonition, and ooh, look at that Flygon art. Speaking of which, the Flygon full art, I do have it, but I did not buy it from this set. Um, I didn't pull it, I bought it, so I would love to pull my own. The one that I got was super offsetter, so I'd love to get my own. Okay, here we go. Charizard artwork, cut a sign. At least we get a all art. Please. 
Honestly, if we didn't get any other hits for the rest of the box, but we pulled an alt art, I would be okay with that. We got the Dene, we got Farfetch'd, a Ultra Ball, and ooh, another V-Star card. We got Shaman V-Star this time. There's Code. I have, okay, so we got two. This is our first decent hit. That's funny because our first decent hit out of the other side of the box is a few star as well. Let's get back into this. All right, I do like the V stars, but if we could get a golden V star, a secret rare V star, or some kind of alternate, I would uh, I'd appreciate that box. Right, we got Purloin, a Reverse Hollow Core Fable, and a, oh my gosh, I hate Ice Q. I don't get that Pokemon at all. I don't understand how that made it past a board reading, and they were like, yes, we want this Pokemon in the games. It's literally just a hanger with an Ice Cube on its head. Okay, here we go. We got Impidimp on the front right there. I like Impidimp, I think it's a cool design for a Pokemon. Staryu, Riolu, Starly. Milsery. Oh, oh my gosh. We got the same Dedene and a Lucario. We have that Lucario hollow. Holo. Oh, I guess we're doubled up on Dedene now. Put this one in. That's always a bummer, man. That's always, that always bums me out when you get two of the same trainer gallery in the same box or two of the same holo rare or something like that. You would think they'd space them out or something a little bit, uh, a little bit better, but that's okay. We still got plenty of opportunity here, guys. Some of my best cards were always pulled in the last minute. I think I, I think I saw something in this one. All right, let's go. We got Gligar, Shinx, Bidu, Electabuzz, a Floatzel, and a non hall Luxury. Never mind. I just saw the code, the code card. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys, right here. This is it, I feel it. This is a big hitter right here. This is a big hitter right here. Oh, yeah, there is something in this one. There's something in this one. Let's we'll see what it is. We got a Corefish, we got a Magmar, Spiritomb, Burmy, a Reverse Hollow Grottle, and more Peko V. Oh my gosh, I have this one too. Oh, getting, well, I guess if we needed any V cards, we're definitely getting loaded up there. I guess I shouldn't have been so eager for what's going on here. There we go. Been so eager for hollow rares or Vs, like I was saying before. Now the box is just giving them straight to me. All right, here we go. Guys, I believe in us. We can still get a couple more good pulls out of here. We got Pilbel Up. We got Turtwig. A Reverse Hollow Heatran, that's nice. And a non hollow Cliff Fable. I'm not losing hope, guys. We can get something good out of here. Still quite a bit, quite a bit more opportunity. If not, I'll be opening up some more. I love this set, regardless of how this box treats us, so I'm definitely gonna be opening up some more Brilliant Stars in the future. We got Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Corefish, Reverse Hollow Spiritomb, and a non hollow Grimmsnarl. Bit of a dry spell, but that's okay. We'll get back into it. Charizard artwork. This is it right here. I can smell it. Altar alert. Altar alert, guys. Here we go. Starting out with Halucha, Buizel, Gibble, a Trap Inch, Execute, Sharon's Care, and a non hollow Mewtwo. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Guys, I think this might be one of the worst boxes I've seen get open from Brilliant Stars. Uh, if we don't even get a full art from this box, I'm going to be pretty bummed. Crap, those went flying. Shinx, Throw, and ooh, a Hollow Moltres. That's that's a nice card. I don't think I have that one yet. So we'll take that. 
we'll take this hollow. This is a win. This is gonna break up our dry spell right here. This is gonna start that snowball effect. Let me, sorry for the camera shaky. All right, there we go. There's our, there's our mole trace. We'll throw that up there. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Next pack. We got Throw, Magmar, Staryu, Burmy, Sock, Cast Form, and... Ooh, there we go. I guess if we're going to get a V card... Charizard V is not a bad one to get by any means. That is definitely probably our best hit of the box, honestly. I mean, I don't know. I don't got the prices on these V stars, but uh, I think Charizard would definitely have to be our best hit so far. Charizard V. Okay. You know what? I can at least tell my wife that I pulled a Charizard in this video. Okay, 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 here we go. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I still want something more though. I need I need a better hit. I'm not gonna be happy until we get a better hit than that. Come on now. We got Weasel and a non-hollow muck. I think that's the second time we pulled that muck, man. What the muck? All right, we got three more packs out of this box. We need something, guys. We need something crazy. Three more packs out of this. Not even a full art, no secret rare, no alt art. This is gonna be a rough this is gonna be a rough box if we don't get anything out of here, man. Alright, impotent, go let, cast form, chimchar, go let again, verse hollow, and a non-hollow go alert. Oh my gosh, guys. Alright, two more. Two more. We got Whimsicott and Arceus. We'll go Arceus. We'll go Arceus. Here we go, here we go. What are the chances that our Altar is hiding in the last two packs? What are the chances? We got Execute, Grimer, Clefairy, Bidoo, Gloria, and a non-hollow life card. Oh my gosh, okay. This is it, guys. This is it right here, the last pack, Whimsicott. Don't let us down, Whimsicott. We're trusting you. We put all of our all of our faith and hope into this pack right here. And you know what? We're gonna do it the way it was intended to be done for last pack. We're gonna do four from the back. Here we go. We're gonna slow roll this, guys. This is it right here. We got Leaf Energy, Claydol. Executor, Weavile, Cherubi, Riolu, Spiritomb, Purloin, a Milsery, a Reverse Hollow Axew, and <laughs> a Non Hollow Alchemy. Well guys, I appreciate you sitting through probably the worst booster box opening in Brilliant Stars history. We did manage to pull this Charizard V, so I can't complain too much. Uh, we also got this Hollow Mole Trace, a more Peko V, this the Dene Trainer Gallery, and a Shaman V Star. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.